It all started when I found I could make dimensional forms in wire. Whether I knitted them or crocheted them, it was possible to do that. And the first things I made in wire were actually big ruffle collars that I made on the, on the first knitting machine I bought. When I got the, the circular knitting machine, the sock knitting machine, suddenly I was faced with another shape to figure out, and that was the tube. And the first thing I thought of was it could be a bracelet. So I made a lot of bracelets. The first two jellyfish that I did were the silver ones. You know, I was on a, a Fulbright in Denmark, and one of my fellow Fulbrighters was a marine biologist. Joanne said, well, you ought to come see my jellyfish. You might find the shapes interesting. The shapes are fabulous, and they have all these ruffles and little, little uh, pleats and tentacles and spring-like shapes. I mean, they're just endlessly decorative. I decided I'd try to make one. And it has the kind of m movement that I wanted. The problem is that getting to the transparency meant that I had to practically eliminate the structure. I had to keep cutting holes. So I wasn't so enthusiastic about doing that. And not because I didn't continue to find them interesting, but because I couldn't figure out ways to make them better. I mean, I'm, I'm intrigued by jellyfish and corals because of their shapes. And I didn't do any more because they didn't look enough like jellyfish. So it wasn't until I was faced with an installation that I thought to put those two things together, to put the jellyfish idea together with, with knitting where they would be transparent. So when the opportunity to do a, an installation came from the Racine Art Museum, I don't work big, so initially when they asked me if I'd be interested, I said no. And then I came home and I thought, but I could make a lot of little things. So I thought, what, what little things would I make? And I thought about the jellyfish and the colored wire. So I proposed that, that I would do sea creatures. Well, the thing that keeps me interested in, in doing jellyfish is that it's, it can be serendipitous doesn't have to be planned ahead of time. They kind of evolve. The corals have been especially fun to work with because there are so many possibilities and I don't have to make any decisions ahead of time. So it's fun to play with the stuff because it can make so many different kinds of shapes. So having, having them on the floor and being surrounded by them inspires me to do different things. It takes a while to figure out what else can I do to make something more interesting? <laughs> because, you know, once, once I know I can do that, then what else could I do? And so it's been just, you know, a, a series of figuring out 